guys, welcome back to the channel. This is day two of us trying to get from Thailand to Malaysia. We did a lot of upgrades to our new catamaran. This is a chance for us to see what's going to survive and maybe what doesn't. And I'm going to be keep saying catamaran. Catamaran. <laughs> catamaran. We completed our first sail. And Official sail. Official sail. Anchor almost got stuck on a rock and our generator, I thought, Broke. Luckily for me, it was operator error. And now we hope to get to an island called Korvachayai. We heard there are crazy wild animals there. And if you're wondering about pronunciation, just look at catamaran versus Katamara. Katamara. <laughs> so Koracha Yai or Koracha? Who knows if it's Kukaracha Yai? Kukaracha. <laughs> This cannot get any better. The difference between sailing this vessel, even single-handed, versus the other boats that I've sailed, this just wants to glide through the water. This is what all the hard work and the storms are meant for. Excuse me, mister, you are not single-handed. A beautiful day sailing with my admiral. The next time we're out here and the winds are favorable for where we're going, I'm gonna teach you how to single-handed this boat. I'm gonna sit back, have my coffee. So make sure you guys check the next video where Yana learns to sail. I don't know if I'm ready for this. This one week memory needs to expand <laughs> to one month. <laughs> At least. And for those guys that are like, don't do wind, don't get a wind generator. We're sailing under power. The generators are generating power with wind and the sun, all systems off grid, gonna last us for days. If you don't know, we started our off grid series where we talk about all the upgrades that we did and that we think are needed to cruise off grid <laughs> and to live off grid on a boat. So make sure you check those out. I'm gonna put them in the description box below and also somewhere here. For sure we're gonna catch lunch with this master lure. Dreamer! <laughs> if you have any tips for us on fishing, make sure to let us know in the comments because we are very bad fishermen. Last time we tried drone, I saw it do a couple of acrobatic flips and then did a nose dive, kamikaze, direct into the ocean. Months later, new drone, Yana Nakshi is gonna give it another try. Yeah, and sure, we are trying it right there on the move <laughs> to try and see if we can get some sailing footage. Yeah, the last one just dropped in the water dead. Oh, I kinda have my heart beating. Let's hope for the best. And I'm gonna film it this time because who knows what's gonna happen with this operator. Better hide <laughs> just in case if it goes wild like last time. Yeah, we got some footage already. <laughs> Flying! It's always so hard to fly the drone when you're sailing because there's so much wind and you're also going with the wind so well, the worst part of this adventure is landing the drone all the drones have the avoidance sensors on that you can only turn them off but there is still bottom sensor that you can't turn off and there are so many moving parts that a lot of times it doesn't want to land so we'll try and land them on the solar panel and hopefully we're not gonna hit the wind generators because that's not gonna be funny I'm too afraid to land it by the wind generator. I don't want this disaster happening. <laughs> Why is it all so hard? So he was landing, but because we were moving, he could not actually like hover. He wasn't hovering. He was just keep doing that. And because his little one, the one we had before was so large, it kind of was more controllable. This, this guy is like... Crash is better than swimming when it comes to drone. She did not want to challenge the two wind generators. Four little props against two huge props. Ah, well, you guys got the great footage of sailing.
The winds are subsiding and we had to dive in in this cove. But this cove is so full of dive boats. There are no mooring balls available because some of them are deteriorated and there are only ropes that the boats even had to tie to together to just one rope. It looks like this boat might be leaving and we might be able to grab a mooring ball. That's the only one that is available. There is a second cove here. It's not protected by the winds that are coming. So um, it looks like we might have to go there and bounce. That way, I'm just gonna say it because of the wind here, is the second bay that this island has that has nobody in it because you can see with this wind coming from there is just very, very rolly. There's only one, two, catamarans there and all the balls are free to grab because it's gonna be very shaky there. Hold on! <laughs> We're gonna try and grab that ball. tell you guys in a sec why we're doing this. There's a very high chance we're all gonna tip over with this thing. <laughs> oh my god. Well we only had one life jacket and then I took an inflatable one. We fell off the paddleboard and this thing about choked me to death. I feel like I've got my head in between the elephant's butt. We decided that it was too much work right now to try and take the dinghy down and because it's like not ready just yet. Why not? Take the paddleboard. Why not to take a paddleboard? Lost the camera, we gotta go diving for camera later. Camera went down, that's crazy, I know. I, I was holding on onto the backpack, which was, thanks God, waterproof fully i guess uh, we're gonna go ashore on the boat and you know i want to give a shout out to sailing tv new because <laughs> they we, we watched a couple of their videos and they always made it look so easy when they go somewhere on the paddleboard yeah i'm wondering <laughs> how many times matt's gonna hear like this how <laughs> <laughs> do get out of this thing <laughs> I was all dressed for success. Paddleboard can actually be donated to someone because. <sighs> that was that totally was crazy. Trip. That was one of the craziest ones so far. <laughs> Operation find the GoPro that went down. A very unlikely, unlikely event. He said he sees it. Do we have to put a tank on to get it? It's laying right down there below the boat. Operation save the camera in motion. I think you saw it. He got it. Oh my gosh, it's still 
recording. <laughs> They're still recording. <laughs> this is gonna be insane. The hero of the boat. High five. <laughs> Let's see what the film shows. So Jana was saying, well, what happened? I said, well, what happened is that I haven't paddle boarded in, I don't know, three years, four years. And Jana has never paddle boarded. Well, wait, one time. And I had to go rescue her because she was drifting out to sea. Needless to say, we will reside with the dinghy. I just looked at the bridle. Why don't you come with me and take a look? I don't think we're gonna be able to stay here tonight. There's 20 knot winds coming by one in the morning. I don't trust this and there's rocks all the way around us. But we can't really anchor anywhere around the island. The anchoring is prohibited. So where are we gonna anchor? We'll figure that out. It's just not safe to stay here. We'll go around the bend where there was that cove. We'll anchor it on the outside of it. At least we'll be on the, the protected side of the island. Yeah, the ball is working hard, but it's freaking pitch black night. <laughs> I don't know if I feel comfortable going anywhere. I'd rather go somewhere than to go into those rocks. And here some of us thought we're gonna have a peaceful evening. And the day continues. Good thing we got the camera now. We can't see anything at night, but we now have this infrared camera. And I guess it's not just gonna be for fun anymore. It's gonna be, we need it. So I have to remove the bridle. William gonna drive the boat forward so I can... It's quite a bit of pressure on the mooring ball, so I'll have to do it quickly. He will drive the boat forward and hopefully we're gonna be fine. Okay, I'm taking off the rope. The, the net is stuck on the thing. Well, handy to have a knife. Yeah, we had to cut the rope because there was a knot on the rope on the bridle and it got stuck on the mooring rope. So we had to run in and cut the rope. How do I know when it's enough? I can't see the color. Boating, we are anchored far away from the bay, open to all the winds, but it's much better because we have our own anchor um, that we can trust. Hopefully we can trust. We're putting the bridle on. Hopefully it's gonna hold. Good morning guys. Yesterday was a disaster. Today is a new day. Look how pretty this is. Yesterday we had to disattach our mooring ball and go find some other place. There is nowhere to anchor on this island because it's protected so we had to anchor it outside of the bay with crashing waves. It was literally so bad. Very very early in the morning we woke up, rushed here in this bay in the first one, the, one, the busy one that I was telling you yesterday. We were able to find actually a rope on Navionics app. There were some comments saying that there is not a mooring ball but a rope. And so what that meant is that there is no mooring ball attached, but there is actually a mooring. You can moor, just there is just no ball. Brand new day. A nice one, hopefully. Any day that we wake up is a nice one. Copy that. So in the last video when we mentioned a bunch of upgrades, make sure you check that out. This is a new Dyneema lifeline that replaces the old white ones that were rusty and not real safe. So I learned how to do the splicing and now I'm gonna attach them to the boat. Nice upgrades. This is what happens when you buy Dyneema by the kilo and they don't measure it, but you have to get it all in a bundle because it's a cutoff from the good stuff. If you guys ever think that we on YouTube just enjoying our cruising visit in these beautiful locations, you are so wrong. This is actually what's always happening. Looks like the water maker that we haven't tried to use yet is leaking water. So I'm gonna have to think up enough courage to get back there with the blanket, lay in the fiberglass, see what is happening. 
Here I am sitting with my forever companion, forever companion of every cruiser, trash. We think we see something very cool right there. We're gonna go and try get closer. By the way, our dinghy, our electric dinghy, looks to be working. It's gone down anything. It, it's listening. And I found another remote in the boat that actually controls the dinghy, dammit. It. So it's Christmas again. You're gonna have to watch multiple videos on why we finally went back to electric. But here's one of the examples is that we are going to something wild that we think is nearby and there's no noise. We are like freaking stealth mode. Guys, can you see them? Goats! Wild goats! Wild Thailand goats! <laughs> it's funny, you can actually smell them. Do you smell the goats? <laughs> I hope it's not us. I think we showered lately. Guys, talk about mountain climbing. This goat <laughs> it outperform anybody. They're going to visit their friends. Do you know what happens with them if they fall? Can they swim? I think the magic is not to fall, but I think they can swim. Where in the world are you going to live and see this? yesterday <laughs> a paddleboard incident I'm limping along because I hit my knee when I was falling William told me that we might have to amputate my leg then I would be with a real pirate <laughs> and get a patch for her eye she'll still be hot who wouldn't look hot with a wooden leg anybody would <laughs> I asked her not sweet, but I don't think um, the iced not sweet coffee actually exists in its own authentic way. So I think she made it as not sweet as possible. <laughs> My friends, this is true off-grid coffee. A little packet of Nescafe, sugar, carnation milk, some packet of milk, like a carton of milk. You can make it anywhere. I must say that this is one of the most interesting transportations <laughs> I've seen in a, in, in a while. <laughs> Look guys, this is hydroponic farm. <laughs> They're growing their own lettuce here and vegetables. Wild animal tamer, <laughs> bull whisperer. <laughs> It's going to be Bull Runner if that thing moves. Run like hell. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's thinking. Okay, now he's eating again. Good. You imagine climbing up there for coconuts? You'd definitely be hungry by the time you got there. The interesting thing for me about Thailand is that you can be on an island that is full of tourists in one part and then on another part is just totally virgin and there's nobody around and it's like human never stepped here it's so beautiful always wanted to do that i forgot to go oh, 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 oh. this is so cool this is like one of the coolest islands ever do you guys hear birds I think we are bothering them. Guys, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Dragonflies. They're attacking me.
Look at the mud trail he leaves. He looks like crocodile, but he's not. He's actually a water monitor. That is so cool. Remember in that video, I told you that I've seen one? This is him. Look at the mud trail he left. He's huge. He's right there. Waiting for the food. Ask, do you have fresh catch? Mm. Is it fish fresh? Mm. Is it fish? Mm. <laughs> Is it old from seven years ago? Mm. There's like 50,000 tourists here. It's either fresh because of that, or it's fresh, or it's not fresh because of that. You have chicken? There's chicken fresh catch. <laughs> Everything in Thailand comes with cucumbers, fresh, delicious. Fresh chicken. Very tasty. <laughs> Why you never tell me when it's hot? Oh my god, it's so spicy. Drama queen. It's insane. It's, it's insane spicy. Are you kidding me? I have my own lips are burning also. It's Thai food. It looks to me, my friends, that on this island, <laughs> Nescafe paid everybody. <laughs> there is also only one supermarket in the whole island, but it's pretty cool. Spices. Mushrooms and chicken with feet. So many interesting things here. Even shopping on a remote island. <laughs> We're not gonna be shopping. We're just gonna get what we need. <laughs> <laughs> we hear that all the time. This cat literally got out from one of those shelves. Oh, beautiful! Hello. Hello. Another one. Hello. He's like, why are you bothering me? Sorry, I'm not bothering you. You can go back. He went back. If you bought a bag of eggs in the US, they would all be scrambled in the first step. The eggs here are natural, so the shells are so hard that you have to like beat them on something just to get them open. So let's see if that theory is true on the dinghy. How many eggs you think are gonna survive? Well, if we're on the paddle board, we'd have two. <laughs> so the tractors are hauling divers to the other side of the island, and then they get to see like multiple sites all in one trip. And the water, my friends, the water! It's so, so aqua blue. Wow. <laughs> Some of us have bad knee here, you know? <laughs> If I'm gonna die, it's gonna be your fault. This is what you should do in remote islands. Climb rocks with crocs. Now I know why those goats were sitting on the rocks. I feel like that old goat sitting up here. I'm learning in boating. It's not just where you're going on the water. It's exploring these absolute remote places. It's so, so amazing. And we have 0%, so we see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe. For sure. Subscribe. I have exactly 1%. Hey. Coming for a massage? <laughs> no, coming for salvation.